Last night I was thinking about death. Why? I don't know, you've never thought about death before? No. It's never even crossed your mind? Nope. Well, last night I was saying we have at most 100 years on this earth, right? Yeah. That gives us 100 years to accomplish our goals and to be happy. Yet we spend so much of that time just doing bullshit things that none of us want to do anyway. And? I don't know, I just think it's kind of messed up. I guess, but like, talking about it or thinking about it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, you're right. Alright, I'm, I'm about to go skate a little bit. Alright. All right, Peter, I think I'm gonna go. Why? I don't know, I just don't really feel like skating right now. All right. perfectly fine and then they're gone it's just not fair it's depressing I don't really believe in that kind of stuff what do you mean I don't really believe in death how can you not believe in death because what proof of death do you guys have anyway sure millions of people die each year but how do we know that they just don't move somewhere else my grandpa died I never saw the body I know he doesn't go somewhere else that sounds so fucking stupid he's a dog just seeing what I believe. It's, it's in denial. <laughs> John, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm saying that it's more likely that someone just moved away and stopped talking to you than stopped existing. How? Because how can someone just stop existing? How is that even possible? It's not like every single person who ever dies just changes their name and moves away. And what proof do you have of that? Jack, you're just in denial. And what proof do you have of that? You're just using that as a way to cope. You just need to accept the fact that everybody dies. And why must I accept that fact? So you can deal with it instead of brushing it off. sitting here and throwing bottles. I mean, I've been I've been doing this pretty recently. It's kind of fun. You know, just I feel like seeing the the glass break. It's pretty satisfying. Wow. Try it. Yeah. Feels good, right? No, how does it feel good? I don't know. It's just kind of satisfying to me. Just Throw in the bottle and see the, the glass shatter. Ow. It just releases the anger inside of me when that bottle explodes. What are you angry about? I don't know. I just can't explain it. It's just been since Peter died. I, I knew this I, is about Peter. First Jack, now you. Jack's crazy. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm just angry. You no, know, I don't have a right to be because Peter didn't deserve to die. He was the nicest kid I know. He was just simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. 
You have the right to be mad, as do I. But breaking bottles isn't gonna bring Peter back. I mean, I don't expect it to. It just makes me feel good. Hey, well, yo, John, wanna hang out? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's go inside. I don't know that egg hog. Let's do something else. Yeah, I know, but I just don't really want to play a game where the sole objective is to kill people. Why not? I thought you liked Call of Duty. Well, I did, but ever since Peter died, I just don't find that stuff fun. The way they normalize the act of killing people, it's just weird to me. You're taking this too seriously. Whatever, let's just do something else. So what do you want to do? I don't know. Wanna go visit Chris? Alright. So how you been? What do you mean? I mean, since Peter died. Oh, I mean, obviously it's been hard, but like, I'm fine, I guess. Like, his death really had an impact on my life, as it did with everybody else's. But I come to terms with the fact that he's dead, and there's really nothing I can do about it. But honestly, it feels like I'm the only one who handled this situation in the same way. Like you throwing and breaking things just to deal with your anger. And Jack, just like being in denial about this whole situation. It just like, it makes no sense, and it just seems like I'm the only one who hasn't gone crazy. Well, I mean... Everyone has their own coping mix. Yeah, you're right. What's up, Chris? What's up, Chris? I wonder what's wrong with him. Probably the same thing is wrong with all of us. Yo, what's up, Chris? What's wrong? What do you think is wrong? Let me guess. It has something to do with Peter's death, right? I mean, ever since Peter died, I've just had this realization about how pointless life is, about how messed up the world is. I mean, you spend 80 years on this planet doing bullshit things that no one wants to do. What's funny? Nothing. That's just the same thing I said to Peter right before he died. So you get what I mean, right? I mean, everything we do is just pointless in the grand scheme of things. Ever since Peter died, I just realized how unfair life is and how fast it is. Peter was a good kid. He didn't deserve to die. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Chris. But I mean, sitting here and whining, it's just not going to do anything. Like, sure, the situation sucks and all, but like, we can't change it. We can't do anything about it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you don't have the right to be sad. But, like, you shouldn't let the sadness come to your life. It's just, it's dumb. And I know life is fast and in some ways meaningless, but we have the power to find meaning in our own life. We don't need to change the universe to live a contented life, you know. I mean, I guess, but what's the point in trying to find meaning in something meaningless? Just because life as a whole doesn't have meaning in it doesn't mean we can't find meaning in our own lives. Peter's dead, Chris. And the best thing we do now is just accept that fact and try and move on. Alright Chris, I'll see you later. Damn, I can't believe it's already been a month. I know. I mean, at the time it felt like the world was gonna end. Yeah, I really miss Peter. Yeah, we all do.